if you own a Hershey Park Season Pass, this is a video for you because in this video, I'm going to tell you about all the top tips and tricks on how to use this Hershey Park Season Pass to make the most out of your day at Hershey Park. For starters, for any perhaps first time season pass holders, I think it's important to know exactly just what you get just by owning a season pass. With a season pass, you get entry to Hershey Park during all months of the year. Springtime of the park, the park's regular summer season, Hershey Park in the dark or Hershey Park dark night, as it's referred to now, and Christmas Candy Lane. In addition to those four events, Hershey Park, you also get access to Zoo America and the Worm Walk. All that just by owning a season pass. However, the biggest tip I can offer you in this video is going to be this one. You can save so much money by owning a season pass. For any purchase you make anywhere in the park, make sure you show the cashier your season pass. I'm going to break it down for you real quick. For any purchase you make at the park, whether it's buying a burger, ordering a Hershey Park t-shirt, buying a game, any purchase you make at Hershey Park, make sure you have the cashier scan your season pass because you get 15% off all purchases at the park, does not matter what it's for, Dippin' Dots, food, whatever you want to do. I, I, either way, I recommend hand up the Dippin' Dots stand. You can never go on Dippin' Dots at the park. Anyways, this is money that you can save up so much over time. You scan that pass each and every time for something at Hershey Park, you're saving money. Lots of it. The second biggest tip in this video only applies for those that are the full size season pass tier and above, and that is Sweet Start. Sweet Star is an incredible opportunity for season pass holders that just want to get to the fun just a little bit quicker. Sweet Star allows for early entry into the park for a disclosed area of the park. Typically, it's the Chocolatier and the Hollow section of the park that's open usually about an hour early just for season pass holders. It's full size, king size, and giant size. You have the park an hour before it opens just for yourselves. It's a great opportunity to get some shorter lines on some of the top rides at your park, just Canemonium, Comet, Skyrush, just to name a few. Another tip is something that's so relatively new that introduced last year, and that's the Season Pass Holder Loyalty Challenge. There's actually a way to track on the app each time you visit Hershey Park, and the more times you go, the more points you get, you can get some exclusive perks as well, such as free fast track. Here's a little bit more information. Here on the Hershey Park website, you can see it talking about the Hershey Park Season Pass Loyalty Program. Right now, there's really not a whole lot of information on it, but as I just said in the last segment, you can basically check in each day on the app, and the more time you check in, the more points you have. I remember some of my friends, we would complete various challenges last year, trying to attend a certain amount of days per week, and a month, and a season. And the more times you go, the more points you can get. It's kind of similar to like a loyalty program you would have at a restaurant or a fast food restaurant, where the more you eat there, the more points you get to spend on rewards. It's the same concept, except with Hershey Park Season Pass and visiting the park. Again, on the website, there's really not a whole lot of information about it right now, but I think you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. Finally, the last tip is also kind of concerned around the saving money aspect, but each month on the Hershey Park Season Pass Soul Service account, which we just talked about, you should create that on the Hershey Park app as soon as you get your Season Pass, is each month, based on what tier you have, you'll have certain discounts on the Hershey Park self-service account that are only exclusive to you guys. Each month, March, April, May, June, etc., etc., new coupons, new deals will load into your account, and some of them are actually some pretty good deals. I'm personally a big fan of the pretzels at Hershey Park. They usually offer a buy one, get one pretzel a couple times throughout the season, but there's many more. For soft drinks, foods, merchandise, there's all sorts of exclusive coupons that change each month. So make sure you take care of those as well. In addition to that, depending on the tier you are, you also have the opportunity to get discounted tickets for your friends and family on the Hershey Park self-service app as well. So definitely get the app for sure. There's lots of hidden things you can go on there to save money, but you can get free tickets. Well, sorry, not free tickets. I wish they were free, but you can get discounted tickets for friends and family. Depending on what your tier, you can get some free tickets. Then, of course, each month there's a rotating list of coupons as well. It's also worth knowing there's some experiences that are outside Hershey Park that you can also use your season pass for. This includes Hershey's Chocolate World and some restaurants that Hershey owns, such as Hola Hands and even the Melt Spot in downtown Hershey. Those, and along with a long list of other establishments, accept the Hershey Park season pass as a form of discount. It's going to be the same way. Use it inside the park. You just show the cashier when you're paying your season pass, and they'll put in yet another discount. It just shows the amount of ways you can save money using your season pass. Now I could go on forever and ever about the amount of tips and tricks you can use with Hershey Park Season Pass, but I typically like to keep my videos short and sweet so that way it's not information overload for you guys. 
but there's definitely a lot more tips and tricks that you can use with Hershey Park Season Pass. So if you'd like to see more, make sure to comment down below, drop a like on the video so I'm aware. And if a bunch of people want to see a part two, I will happily make a part two because the tips go on and on and on with this thing. It really does. And with that, that's all the tips I have for you guys on how to use your Hershey Park Pass to its most potential this upcoming season. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to join the Hershey Attic community. This is your number one place for all things Hershey Park. With that out of the way, I hope you guys use your Hershey Park Pass as great this upcoming season and hope to see you soon from the Hershey Attic. Peace. What a wonderful world.